I did think that because Shane had that, um, and I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm really you know gonna have to swallow my pride, which I don't have a problem doing. Respect deserves respect, and you know everybody on this, everybody in the field, to be honest, came out knowing that they could win this race, and you know that's the mindset that we have to have. You know, iron sharpens iron, of course. And when I saw my name, I was like, I didn't do this against a slow crowd or a field. I did this against the best of the best on the biggest stage with the biggest pressure. And seeing that name, I was like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> there it is. And I wasn't even entered in the 100 in 2021. So that was, you know, here I am, first Olympics in the 100, you know, going around now the Olympic champion and, you know, having that title of not just at world championships, but at the Olympics of – World's fastest man. And were you at ease? It seemed when you came out, the jumping. You you seemed almost jubilant before the race. Was it a? Were you at ease with yourself? Were you nervous at all at the start? I'm not gonna say. Uh, I wouldn't say nervous. I'd say I was extreme. Noah Lyles and Kashane Thompson gave us one of the closest, most nail-biting 100m finishes in Olympic history. Both sprinted to a jaw-dropping 9.79 seconds. But Lyles edged out Thompson by a mere 0.05 seconds to claim gold. While Lyles solidified his place as the world's fastest man, Thompson's incredible run showed he's a force to be reckoned with. So, is this the start of track and field's next great rivalry? Does knowing that the Jamaicans are kind of turning up at their trials right now, does that amp you up a little bit? Shoot, I want to see what they do. Well, I'm, I'm trying to see something. You want to? You want to know? What are they? When you think of Noah Lyles. The first thing that comes to mind is his unstoppable drive on the track. This guy has been crushing it for years, earning title after title, and proving himself to be one of the fastest men alive. Heading into the Paris Olympics, he wasn't just a contender, he was the favorite. Everyone expected him to snag that gold medal in the 100M race. I mean, how could you not? He had just come off a stellar performance at the 2023 World Championships in Budapest where he clocked an impressive 9.83 seconds. And let's not forget his incredible 9.81 second victory at the London Diamond League. With stats like that, the man seemed unbeatable. But of course, every great story needs a worthy rival, right? Enter Kashane Thompson, the young Jamaican sprinter who wasn't just there to make up the numbers. This guy came ready to turn heads. While Lyles was basking in the glory of his consistent wins, Thompson was quietly making waves back in Jamaica. At his country's Olympic trials, he ran a blistering 9.77 seconds, a personal best that was 0.04 seconds faster than Lyles' best time. That kind of performance didn't just grab attention, it sparked serious debate in the track world. Could Thompson really pull off the upset and beat the reigning champion? No, I said so yesterday when I asked him about the 982 that you ran that he hopes to stay healthy. What do you want to send? What do you like to send him a message? Oh, he said that from yeah. here. You can imagine how the track and field community was split. Most fans still backed Lyles, and honestly, why wouldn't they? He had the experience, the track record, and the aura of a champion. But there was this growing faction that started rallying behind Thompson. He was younger, hungrier, and had that fiery determination you just can't ignore. In interviews leading up to the Olympics, he didn't shy away from the big talk either. In Asterisk Sprint Documentary Asterisk Season 2, Episode 3, Thompson laid it all out. My goal for the Olympics is to of course win the gold medal, he said, plain and simple. There wasn't an ounce of doubt in his voice. What stood out most was Thompson's respect for Noah Lyles. He wasn't cocky, but fully aware of the challenge, calling Lyles his biggest rival and embracing the opportunity. I won't be intimidated? Man, that hypes me up, he said, radiating confidence. Instead of being overwhelmed, Thompson saw the race as a chance to prove himself. To the, the, the track and really dominated everything. Uh, we do have an interview from Noah Lyles. Let's uh, see what he had to say. Noah, world champion, no Olympic champion. The thing is that you embrace pressure so very well and come out on top. Uh, well, is there not just to fans but to Lyles and most importantly to himself the day of the 100 meter final at the Paris Olympics felt like something out of a movie the energy in the stadium was electric like you could almost feel the tension buzzing in the air 
Fans were on the edge of their seats, ready to witness a showdown between two of the fastest men in the world. Everyone was talking about Noah Lyles and Kashane Thompson. It was the kind of race where you knew history was about to be made. When the athletes lined up at the starting blocks, it felt like time slowed down. You could see the focus in their eyes. Lyles, with his calm confidence, looked like he'd been here a thousand times before. Thompson, on the other hand, was all fire and determination, like he had something to prove. The anticipation was almost unbearable. And then, just as the race was about to start, there was a delay. I don't know about you, but I would have been losing my mind waiting like that. For the athletes, it must have felt like hours. But instead of getting rattled, Lyles later said the crowd just got louder and more hyped, feeding him the energy he needed. Finally, the gun went off, and they were off like rockets. From the very start, it was clear this was going to be a close one. Lyles was in lane 7, and Thompson was in lane 4, so they couldn't even see each other for most of the race. But you could tell they were giving it everything they had. The crowd was roaring, and honestly, I was holding my breath watching it all unfold. It was one of those races where you couldn't blink because you might miss something. When they crossed the finish line, it was too close to call. Both had run an incredible 9.79 seconds, and for a moment, nobody knew who had won. Even Lyles admitted afterward that he thought Thompson might have edged him out. I came over, and I was like, I think you got that one, big dog, Lyles said. You have to love the sportsmanship there. But then, the results popped up on the screen, and the crowd went wild. Noah Lyles had won by just 0.05 seconds. Let that sink in. 0.05 seconds. That's less time than it takes to snap your fingers. It was a moment of raw emotion. Lyles celebrated his hard-fought win, while Thompson, though disappointed, stood with quiet pride, knowing he had pushed the champion to the limit. What stood out was their mutual respect. Lyles praised Thompson's performance, and Thompson graciously reflected on lessons learned. This wasn't just a race, it was two athletes driving each other to be their best. For Lyles, Thompson is a rival who keeps him sharp. For Thompson, it's motivation to grow and prove he's one of the best. If the Paris Olympics taught us anything, it's that Noah Lyles and Keishan Thompson are redefining what it means to be rivals. But the story doesn't end with one race, no matter how thrilling it is. Both of these athletes have their eyes set on the future, and honestly, I can't wait to see what's next. For Noah Lyles, winning Olympic gold in the 100M was a career-defining moment. But this guy isn't one to rest on his laurels. After the race, Lyles talked about wanting to keep pushing the sport forward. He's not just focused on breaking records, he's thinking about legacy. And let me tell you, Lyles has big dreams. One thing he said stuck with me. I want my own sneakers. Not just track spikes, but an actual sneaker. He pointed out that even Michael Johnson, one of the greatest sprinters of all time, never had his shoe. For Lyles, this is about more than just footwear. It's about showing the world that sprinters can be global icons, just like basketball players or soccer stars. But Lyles isn't just talking the talk. He's been working tirelessly to elevate track and field's profile. Remember that asterisk sprint asterisk documentary series? That's partly his doing. He knows the sport needs to be more accessible to fans. This is a world sport, he said, and we need to make it easy for people to watch. He's right. For too long, the track has felt like something you had to dig around for, whether it's behind a paywall or buried on some obscure channel. Lyles wants to change that, and honestly, I think he's the guy to do it. Meanwhile, Kashani Thompson is gearing up for his comeback. Losing by such a tiny margin in Paris could have crushed his spirit, but not this guy. Instead, he's using it as motivation. After the race, Thompson reflected on what he needed to work on. I've learned to be more patient with myself, he said, and I need to understand that the last part of the race is the most complicated. That kind of self-awareness is rare, especially for someone so young. Thompson knows he's already one of the best in the world, but he's not settling for second place. He's taking everything he learned from that race and using it to become even better. What's exciting, and maybe a little terrifying for Lyles, is that Thompson hasn't even hit his peak yet. 
He sat out the Diamond League events after the Olympics, likely to regroup and focus on training. But you can bet he'll be back in full force at the Tokyo World Championships. If he applies everything he's learned, he could easily challenge Lyles again. And honestly, wouldn't that be amazing? Rivalries like this are what makes sports so thrilling. This rivalry is a game changer for track and field. With Usain Bolt retired, the sport needs new stars, and Noah Lyles and Kashane Thompson are stepping up to carry the torch. Their battles go beyond speed. They're about elevating the sport and inspiring a new generation. Representing the US and Jamaica, they're reigniting a historic rivalry, much like the Bolt vs. Gatlin era. Now, Lyles aims to dominate further, while Thompson eyes redemption at the Tokyo World Championships. This isn't just a rivalry, it's a celebration of what makes sports unforgettable. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.